What's it like to get a recognition like this here in Los Angeles, your hometown? Well, in all honesty, it's very humbling. I, um, as many who have served their country will say, we're only doing what our vow to, was. And um, I took that very seriously. I'm very proud to have received the honor and I'm going to continue to do my utmost to, uh, to uh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> Will you get back into government? Well, I'd, I would be willing to be redeputized for sure. And I've said so publicly quite a few times, essentially to Mr. Trump, that if you want to drain the swamp, I can help you because I know where some of the valves are. Yeah, so yeah, I would be willing to do it. But is there still an element within that's uh, essentially sabotaging or working against the pres the White House interests? Well, I call them gravitational forces that kind of trying to pull the ship off a course. And I have, in all honesty, uh, had some disappointments lately in some of him was walking back some of his promises, in particular from a law enforcement perspective, um, the reluctance to go ahead and designate the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization. That's a real serious breach right there because that's one of the reasons why I was elected. And we're going to see how the foreign policy unfolds right now, especially with tomorrow and the next day visiting Israel. We'll see what his um, offer is there. We saw Saudi Arabia today, and he was better than a couple of the past administrations in describing the problem. But I kind of characterize it as a day with intermittent clouds, some shadows, but some open spaces too. But How concerned are you about the way that the media is uh abandoning their objectivity and reporting on uh, over reporting on the white house well right now i caught characterize it as a spasm of collective psychosis because we don't seem to be capable of telling our left hand from our right hand and if the media is only part of the equation it's people that are allowing them to continue to miss and disinform them and virtually nothing that you see in the media today is really accurate. And um, with people that I'm affiliated with, we usually know days, if not weeks, ahead of time major events that are going to take place. That's the nature of Washington. And virtually in every case, we see misrepresentation and incorrect reporting. And it happened with me in my career in terms of the way these attacks were reported when I knew full well there was much more to the story than what was being reported in the media. So I've seen this for a long time.